Okay, so on this one, we're, um, we've got actually two logs, and they're asking us to get multiple choice options here. They're asking us to make it into, notice the word here, a single log, a single log. So they want us to take two logs and make it into one log, whichever one of those is the correct one. So now we're running things backwards. Let me show you the properties. It's all based on these properties, right? These three log properties. I think, I think that you know. But notice now we're running them backwards. What I mean is we're supposed to go from the right side to the left because we're supposed to go from two logs back to one. So how does that work? Well, remember, what the, notice uh, with me what these log properties say. They basically say for one log, right? Two logs make the operation easier. It's harder for one, like, like if you have something heavy to lift, it's easier for two people than for one. Well, that's what's going on here. The, the harder operations like multiplying, dividing, that's for one person, one log, and adding, subtracting, the easy operations, right? Those are, you know, when you learn add subtracting when you're a kid, those are easy operations. Those are for uh, two people, right? The job becomes easier for two logs. Two logs, adding, subtracting, one log, multiplying, dividing. So basically if you have two logs added, that will go back to one log multiplied. Or if you have two logs subtracted, that'll go back to one log divided. Okay. So then what does that mean here? Well, I'll bring it over here. So we have, oops, <laughs> we have two logs added, right? First thing, let's, let's grab those um, powers. And the power is going to go up here. Powers, I didn't even mention the power property. I should have, should have mentioned that one first. Right down here, property three. Notice a power on a log can go to the front or back to the power, whichever way you need, depending on what you're trying to do at the moment. So in other words, you can have it in the front or you can have it in the power. Either way, says log property three. Okay, so that means I can take these uh, and put them from the front back to the power like that. That makes sense. You can go either way. Power front, power front, power front, whatever you're trying to do at the moment. Now, next, next, what is this adding going to become? Adding is going to, for two logs, right? For two logs, adding becomes one log multiplication. Does it one single log? Seven to the fourth times x to the fourth. Does that make sense? Adding for two logs, a hard, an easy, easy operation for two logs becomes a little harder for one log. Adding, which is easy, right? First, first thing you learn when you're a kid, becomes times multiplication, which is a harder operation to learn when you're a little bit older, right? See how that property works? And you want to go from two logs back to one. The operation gets harder. It's, it's harder for one person to lift the thing than for two. It's a harder operation. <laughs> Multiplying is harder than adding. And so then clearly our answer is this one right here, isn't it? There it is. There's our answer using the log properties. There you go.